Welcome back to the channel. We are on the 10th hole at Yale Golf Course. This is probably the most difficult hole in the course. Certainly doesn't help when you slice it on another hole. So this is just a pitch with an 8 iron. Name of the game, just get it back into play. That is exactly what I did. Leaves me with about 90 yards here. That is a sand wedge. Did not catch that cleanly. And let's take a look at where this ball ends up. <laughs> Always a good feeling watching your ball slowly descend down a flight of steps. Shall I play it as it lies, fellas? It's probably better than being in here. So I would take relief chipping onto the green, trying to get up this hill. This is one of the tougher greens on the course. It rolled back down to the front of the green, so I got a long putt, and that is blown way past the hole. You can see I am not too pleased with that result. So that leaves me with a long double bogey putt, and that is not the way I wanted to start off the video. Put that down in the scorecard as a triple bogey. Move on to the 11th hole. 11th hole is a short par four. I got three one in hand, and unfortunately, I set the camera to end the recording after 30 seconds, so you do not get to see my wonderful drive down the center of the fairway. Try to, let's try to make something happen. The wind is coming in hard from the right. I got pitching wedge here, trying to draw it in. That is exactly what I do. And at first I thought I stiffed this to about five feet. But as you can see, it's more like 35 feet away. So we had this very long birdie putt. The direction wasn't great, but the pace was pretty solid. It'll leave me with about three feet for par. I've been making these in my sleep. We knock that in for par. Get back on that par train. 12th hole. Another short par four. I got three wood again. But this time this ball leaks a little further right than I would have liked. What makes this hole difficult is that it is a completely blind approach. You can't even see the flag. It is always best to drive up to the green to see where the pin is located. I did not like that strike. It leaked a little left on me. That could be in the bunker. It is not in the bunker, but I have a very long birdie putt yet again. I had the line from my playing partner's previous putt, and I thought that was going in, but we'd have a nice tap in for par. 13th hole, 190 yards. Wind is into us, so I got three wood here. Playing 215. Fortunately, I caught that really thin. So I find myself in a greenside bunker for the first time in the round. Take note of this bunker as there is no sand underneath this ball. Oh wow! My club actually bounced yeah. off of the sand and I caught too much ball. There is no sand underneath the ball. Kind of rolled out a little bit further than I would have liked. So we have this long par putt. The line is good. The direction is good. The pace is just a little short. Tap in for bogey. 14th hole here is a dog leg right, a beautiful hole, and I definitely recommend hitting lesson driver as a wayward drive can leave you in the wilderness. The flight started off as a draw and it ended up fading into this wind. I only have about 80 yards, but with a downwind breeze, I'm looking to land this on the front of the green. <laughs> I decelerated, I did everything you're not supposed to do. Never committed to that shot, so it leaves me with a chip in. Unfortunately, you're not going to see it. As you can see, the wind is howling at this point. This is where my chip ended up. So I'm left with a long putt for par, but I've been reading the lines pretty well on this day at least. And this time, this time we find the center of the cup. Very nice par save, we move to the 15th. That is a seven iron from 160. Wind is coming in from the right, but what I didn't know was that it was downwind. And you could tell by my reaction. That was the wrong club choice. That ball went very long. In fact, it went 40 yards over the green. You can see me chipping back on. I mean, I hit the seven iron 200 yards. I can't be too mad at that. And what I can't be too mad at is that chip right there. That's a very good effort. Leaves me with about five feet for par. 
The putt is dead straight, so I'm aiming for the center cup, and what? No. How? I have watched this replay so many times, and I still cannot figure out how it didn't go in. Oh, do you think that goes in if the pin is in? Let me know in the comments section if you agree with him. I, I would think that that ball goes in if the pin isn't in. Unfortunate turn of events. So we move to the 16th hole. 16th hole is actually the first par five at Yale Golf Course. We put that drive down the middle of the fairway. And after that missed putt, I'm in fuck it mode. So we're going for the green and two here. And I absolutely pured it. That three would actually went longer than my tee shot. I am on the green for eagle. And you know what they say about eagle putts. You do not want to leave them short. I certainly did not do that. And I had the line completely wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> that leaves me with an uncomfortably short putt for birdie. I've been making these in, though. And I continue the trend. That is a nice birdie on 16th. We move to the 17th. Another wonderful par four. It's a straightforward par four, but as you can see, or as you can't see, the fairway is completely blind. I recommend hitting yeah, left of where my ball went. We I am in the right side rough. That is a pitching wedge. No. I have to be honest here, it's kind of misaligned. Should not have come close to hitting that branch, but I did strike it well if that is of any consolation. This was a pretty solid effort here with my chip. It leaves me right. with about 10 feet for par. I've been reading putts very well up to this point. You can see the ball bobbling there, and no. it puts on the brakes. Oh, man. The golf gods were not kind to me today. I mean, it is an inch away. It was one more rotation of going in. So we move to the 18th and probably my favorite hole on the course. As you can see, it is not easy. It actually has three fairways. You can see a split fairway there and a smaller fairway there for those who are playing the back tees or just trying to lay up. I am looking to drive it onto the split fairway. And that is exactly what I do. You only need 250 yards to get there. Right. It will leave me about 250 yards in, but unfortunately I have to contest with this mound. I hit it good, but you just can't hit a stinger into a wall of fairway. So with the pin tucked to the left, I'm aiming towards the middle of the fairway. That is a nine iron. And I caught a flyer lie. It flew the green. I even took less club. I just couldn't commit to a pitching wedge from 165 yards. So we have this long pitch shot. My goal here is to get a bogey in GTFO. The wind decides to play havoc on me one more time. That par putt came up a little bit short, but I got a nice little tap in for bogey. I made the bogey putt and I shot an 82, but it really could have been around in the 70s if I didn't have those two triple bogeys. And if some putts went my way, like how does that not go in? It's a frustrating game, but like life, you're never gonna be great at it. You just gotta be good enough. So that will do it for my blog at Yale Golf Course. If you're in the New Haven area, you have one more golf season before the course closes down in 2023 for two years. Despite some of the conditions, it is a great track and worthy of your time.